Welcome back everyone, it is Ryan with Sticker Status here, back again with another educational tutorial. And today we're gonna to be showing you guys how to get a vector version of any logo or vectorize any logo. So first you need to understand what exactly a vector logo is. So typically if you pull up, and I am in Adobe Illustrator here, typically if you pull up a picture of a PNG and you zoom into it, you're gonna start seeing individual little pixels here like this. So this is what we call a raster image versus a vectorized image, where it is built out of pixels of individual color. Same way a camera takes pictures, it's all made out of pixels. Now, here's an example of a vectorized logo where you can see that each of these paths, no matter how far I zoom in, doesn't show pixelation. Vector images are lossless images that can be scaled up to any size without losing quality. As you can see, when I zoom in, there's a blue highlighted path around each one of these actual individual vector shapes where I can move around each individual shape, move it, delete it, anything like that, change the colors. Versus a PNG image here, a rasterized image, I can't go in and change individual colors. Now, the reasons you might need a vector image, vector images are used for things like stickers, for things like embroidery. If you're getting hats done, you need a vectorized image because in order to do stickers or embroidery, it needs to have an actual path to follow versus just one giant block of just pixels put together. So I'm gonna show you a few different examples of how to vectorize logos. And a lot of times, whether you're trying to order shirts, hats, stickers, whatever it might be, they might ask you for a vector version of your logo. And let me just tell you, if you have your vector version of your logo, it's going to save you so much time and hassle and probably money in the future if you're trying to do things. Now, vector logos are always going to be saved as either PDF, AI, EPS or SVG format files. Now, a lot of times what people will do when they get asked for a vector image is they'll just take this PNG, save it as a PDF and think it's a vector logo. That's still not the case because once you open up the PDF, it's still gonna be pixelated. So I've got a few different examples here and I'm gonna show you how to vectorize these different logos. Now, this one's obviously already vectorized and so is this one, um, but these two are not. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. I actually had this example come up this morning at our shop where I needed to vectorize this logo for our customer because they couldn't find their vector version. So again, all I have here is a giant PNG. If I zoom in, you can see there's all these dirty pixels that you don't want in a giant print. So what I'm going to do is I'm in Adobe Illustrator again. I'm going to click on the logo and I'm going to go image trace. Now there's a few different options here and depending on how many colors are in the logo, you might need a six color, you might need 16 color and all that sort of stuff. But in this case, I just need the outline shape of this single color text. So I'm going to image trace it and I'm going to choose black and white. And boom, what it's gonna do is it's gonna already vectorize that logo for you. So let me show you the differences here. You can see that right here we have square corners. So when you vectorize it, these got a little bit round. So when you vectorize something that's not high resolution, a lot of times you are gonna lose a little bit of the fine detail. Like look at the way this trademark R ended up down here. So in order to fix that, first things first, I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna go to my uh, settings over here under image trace, and I'm gonna change the corners to high. I'm gonna take the corners all the way up. Now you can see that fixed those rounded corners here that were supposed to be straight. So now they're straight. And then I'm gonna have to retype this R in circle or download a vector version of the trademark logo. So I can go R, use my ellipse tool, change that to just a stroke, and then boom, we've got a vectorized trademark logo there that I can replace here. So now I'm gonna hit expand on this um, logo here. Expand, Control Shift G to ungroup it all. Delete the white background, delete this old R. I'm gonna move this one in about the same size. And boom, so now this is a vectorized version of that logo. So now instead of seeing all these individual pixels, now I can zoom in and see that it is a very smooth, straight path. Now, once it's vectorized, you can go back through and fine tune things. Like I can see right there, there's this little spot on the S that kind of slants upwards right there. And if I go back to the original, you can see that that doesn't happen right there. So once you have the vectorized logo, you can go through and use uh, your direct selection tool and click A, and you can move each individual point around. So I can straighten this out as so and then get rid of that weird slant that happens so make sure to go through and fine tune the logo if you need to and make sure to send a proof to your customer so they don't get hit with anything unexpected so that's the simplest way to vectorize something like that but a lot of times in a high detailed logo such as this one it's not going to vectorize very cleanly so let me show you for example what i can do is i can vectorize this go image trace and let's do high fidelity photo. This is gonna give you the most amount of color options available. And this may take a little bit of time. Now, since this was a high resolution photo, it actually vectorized pretty well. So now I can hit expand, ungroup it, take out the background, 
And see, now you're gonna have to go through and do a little bit of fine adjustment. We can take these out. And if I take that out, you can see there's no hole. So I can select both these items and then hit minus front and it's gonna put the hole back in it. So I can do that to each of these. Minus front, minus front, and minus front, and boom. So there we have, oh, one more. There we go. So now we have a vectorized logo. As you can see, I can go in here, I can edit colors, I can change things like that, I can move pieces around, whatever you need to do. So that is a vectorized logo, but not all the time are you gonna get that lucky where you have a high resolution photo. Sometimes customers only have access to an old blurry PNG that they probably got 10 years ago that doesn't vectorize at all. So I'm gonna show you an example of that. All right, so in this case here, I know I already have this vectorized logo over here, but what I did is convert it into a fairly blurry PNG. So you can see when I zoom in, these aren't very clean. This isn't a very high resolution photo. So if I went to try to vectorize it again with high fidelity photo, we're gonna get some weird things that happen. So boom, it vectorizes and automatically you can see this text gets all wonky. You know, things get a little bit weird. You can see some weird colors going on in here. And so a lot of times if you have a blurry PNG like that, the customer is not gonna be happy if you send them back a sticker or a print that looks like this. So what you're gonna have to do, if they don't have a higher version, uh, a higher resolution version of the logo, you're gonna have to rebuild this logo, unfortunately. So this monkey actually looks okay. If it didn't though, you would have to go through with your pen tool. And obviously you wanna charge a nice design fee for this because it's gonna take a long time, but you'd go through with your pen tool or your pencil tool and you're going to go through and recreate basically the entire logo right so you're going to draw all these individual shapes in color them and then put them where they're supposed to be so this can be you know if customers don't have access to a vector resolution version of their if customers don't have access to a vector version of their logo this is a service that you can offer that you should charge for because it's going to take a lot of time but you'd basically go through and redraw each individual piece and uh, i'm going to do a tutorial a full uh, full length tutorial on how to do stuff like that then you're going to have to figure out what font this is retype the text and all of that type of stuff so it gets a little bit more intricate there if you don't have access to a high resolution version of the logo um, so you better just hope and pray that your customer sends you something that's really easy to work with so again you can vectorize basically any picture it's just going to give different results depending on how the original picture looks. But here's a picture of Runty, my dog here, and I can image trace it. And if I went like 16 color, it might take a second just depending on how fast your computer is. Boom. See, so that doesn't look too bad. Again, you're going to lose a little bit of detail, but that's not too bad of a vectorization of a photo. So that's the high fidelity version. They also have versions like shades of gray where it's going to look like that. And then again, you can go into image trace after the fact and they have all these different settings that you can adjust. You can adjust the amount of paths. You can adjust the amount of corners. You can adjust the noise. And so you've got to just play with these different settings to see if you change the paths to higher, it's going to make a little bit more detail in the photo. If you change the corners higher, it's going to make things a little bit more sharper and have less rounded edges. But again, there's another version here under the image trace. You can do three color where it'll look something like that. So then you can expand it, remove the background and use that for a sticker. All sorts of different types of options under the vectorization tab. Pretty straightforward today. Again, if you need to vectorize a logo or you need a vectorized version of your logo, there's a few different ways you can go about it as we showed you. Um, we do offer a design service on our website. If you would like us to go ahead and vectorize your logo for you, just go over to our website or email us and we can vectorize the logo for you. That's gonna be about it for today. So if you have any questions, please make sure to leave them in the comments below or any other types of tutorials tutorials you guys want to see, make sure to let me know in the comments down below. But as always, if you learned anything from the video or enjoyed it, please make sure to leave a like on the video and also subscribe to our channel to catch all of our future videos. But other than that, that's going to be it for today and we'll catch you next time.